Dominic Putucheri, a constitutional lawyer, said the Yang Dipatuan Agong and the Malay rulers acted in the spirit of the federal constitution to arrest the situation in the country from declining. He said the hereditary rulers also did not enter into the political arena as they were mindful of their roles as constitutional monarchs in a parliamentary democracy. Putucheri, a former Nibong Tebal MP, said the doctrine of necessity was applicable in the unusual circumstances that had arisen. When there is no obvious remedy available in the constitution, then you must act to save the constitutional system, he told FMT. He said that under Article 43, Clause 3, the cabinet must be collectively responsible and accountable to parliament at all times, including during an emergency. All MPs in the Dewan Rakyat and senators in the Dewan Nagara must always remember their oath of office and allegiance to preserve, protect, and defend the constitution, he added. Lawyer Bastian Pius Vendigan said the constitution remained the supreme law of the federation and the emergency proclamation and ordinances promulgated were subservient to the constitution. He said this doctrine had been applied in the sphere of constitutional jurisdiction and Westminster style constitutions such as that in India, Pakistan, Grenada and the province of Manitoba in Canada. These give a lot of guidance on how the doctrine can be of assistance to break a deadlock, he said.